What's up guys, this is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And in this very calming and low energy video, I wanna to talk to you guys about why women boss around guys who are really nice. And me in particular, I have been bossed around many times in the past by women. And I wanted to just address this because many guys, when they are talking to women, they don't know why women are just acting in these out fucking outrageous ways. Sometimes a woman will act outrageous just because she can feel that underneath what you're giving her is weak. She'll feel that, okay, when I'm in front of this man, I don't feel like I want him. I don't feel like he even wants me. And they'll start to do all these really over the top type of behaviors where they'll just lash out at you for no reason. Or like the girls, that I used to have, you know, it was way in the past, nowhere you know, near within the last five years. But years ago, you know, I remember growing up and having girls who would just tell me to do things. And because I had a mom that I grew up with who I started to learn that, you know, women have strength, I started to view that women just have strength and, you know, I should listen because, of course, I have this white knight mentality. For you guys who may be watching this video, you may go, well, girls never boss me around. And I go, really, man? Like, if you're saying that, it's because in some way you're afraid of it. Because many guys who went down this path of just learning about women and learning about themselves in relation to women, you're going to always come across a girl who is more than you. You're going to always come across a girl who is going to be able to help you to grow. Women who just have more strength than you. Uh, they, their, their ability to sit in tension at certain times where you can't. These are the women that, yes, boss you around. And I don't mean boss you around all the time in the sense of like, go do this, go do that, go do this. But when they tell you to do something, you feel afraid of asserting your own way. You feel afraid of, if I say something right now, this woman might not like it. So I better just listen. And in the listening that you're doing, you don't know that it's hurting you. It was a guy that I was speaking to, and he said, it was a student actually, and he said that, you know, his girl would say, you know, do this thing. Well, he was a previous student, and his girl would go to him in the times of arguing, and she would say, you know, I wanted you to do this, and you did that. And he's like, well, I'm sorry, you know, I'll just make sure next time I will do this. And the next time, some different. But at those times where he thinks that he's just doing something to better help his woman, he's not really doing anything to help her. He's just listening to her demands. Just like, you should have did this when I wanted you to do that. And this is where the bossiness starts to come around. Women are not bossy by nature. They're not. There's some women who tend to have a nature about them that you know, wants to be in demand, that wants to uh, take control of things. And many times, that's just because she had to learn from a young age in some sort of circumstance that she'd been in that she have to take up for herself, that she has to be strong for herself. And she learned that and she started to use that. And people who are strong for themselves and don't depend on others, a lot of times they become the leaders in our society. Many people are very codependent on others. But when you break out of that and you become independent, like many women have, who are being this bossy way, people start to look up to them. So if I have to go back to my own journey, I remember the women where I was talking to and they would, <clears throat> one woman particularly, she fucking, you know, she used to tell me to shut up and I used to say, okay. And I felt so fucking like weak on the inside. She used to tell me, she's like, do this thing. And I'm like, okay. And I would be so scared not to, to rock the boat not to hurt her. I would be so scared thinking that, oh my God, if I don't do this, I'm gonna get in trouble. And what I didn't know is that I was just playing out, and what I'm noticing right now, is that I was just playing out the same behaviors that I used to do with my mom. My mom, you know, she used to discipline us when we were growing up, because that's one thing that you can do in the black community or in the communities where there's low income, you know, there's a lot of discipline many at times. She used to discipline us, and I used to always feel that if I didn't do anything right, I would get in trouble. And that starts to play out in the women that I speak to. That I will get disciplined in some way. 
And you guys probably don't even notice, but many of the behaviors that you're playing out right now are stemming all the way back to the way your mom used to treat you. Your relationship with your mom has a very direct correlation to how you'll be treating women and how you let women treat you. So for me, my thing is, there are many guys who are nice guys, they didn't have a good relationship with their mom. Their mom was either standoffish, she was cold, or she was really, really bossy, or she just, you know, showed them love, but she never really showed them the way of, of, of really, you know, how does that correlate to a woman on the street or anything like that. And when it's overly gushy, the guy becomes really, really needy because he starts to need feminine energy. He feels like, fuck, I want feminine energy in my life and I need it. Uh, when it's really standoffish, a guy tends to attract women in his life who are very standoffish and that make him standoffish as well because he'll start to reflect that same thing. If it's very, very uh, cold, so to speak, like really just blank and she never really showed anything, it'll be hard for him to express his emotions through his life. <clears throat> I mean, it stems and it has all these uh, connotations and it has all these ways of just showing you guys that being bossed around by a woman is okay. And I like to say bossed around because it adds a little spark to what I'm saying. But even when I was being bossed around by the woman I was with and the, the few women I was with in my life who just, you know, made me feel low and, you know, that really didn't give me the encouragement that I need. And I was, what was I expecting though? Was I expecting them to help me grow in, in, in like my masculinity? Was I expecting them to, you know, just make me, you know, feel manly because I couldn't feel manly? Like, what did I expect? And guys, we are really fucking shut down sometimes because we can't do this. We are fucking drilled into the ground when we can't stand up for ourselves. We are. We're fucking drilled. Because since we were young, in many ways, we were taught that stand up for yourself or you're weak. <clears throat> and this is true. If you don't stand up for yourself, you will be weak to the world. But in the way that it is with a woman, we never was taught to stand up to your woman. We never was taught that. I was never taught to stand up to your woman. Never. You know, the, 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 the models out there that we've been given is <clears throat> either, you know, don't let her have any control at all and just overpower her or just listen to the woman. That's literally the two parts that we've been given. Or in the middle, you know, there's been some gray area of make sure it's equal. But there's never really been a clear way that's beneficial for both. Never really been a clear way. And me being somebody who's been looking for clear ways my whole life, you know, now I'm very clear. But growing up, I was looking for oh, what are the clear ways that men and women can come together and be happy and, and really have love and, and sex and, 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 and happiness in the way they want to. And as I was looking around, I'm like, fuck, man, I really don't know how to do this. I don't. I don't know how to make sure that I don't allow women to run over me. I don't know how to make sure that I, I'm able to just stand up for myself and not seem like an asshole in the process. Because I would see, you know, guys do things where they wouldn't take women's shit. And women would be like, he's an asshole. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be the asshole. So what do I do? And there's so many confusing things for us. It's so crazy how confusing society is for the upbringing of men and women. It's very, very fucking confusing. It's no literally just clear way that's gonna be able to build women and men up in a very healthy way. I had to just look for it and find it within myself and try to see models and I would look in movies and like, all right, Martin Lawrence, all right, is it, is it like that? You know, is, is, is it like this? And I would just try to just figure this out because on the inside, I was just like, fuck, I don't want to be in a position ever again where a woman is making me feel like I'm low. Where a woman is making me feel like I can't stand up to her. She's making me feel weak. I don't want to be in that position anymore. And many of you guys, you may be in that position. Maybe you're in a relationship that you feel like, fuck, man, I'm just getting bossed around from a woman. Or a woman is telling me to do this. And then when I do the thing, she doesn't like it. What? What? Is she crazy? Like, what's going on? No, man, it's just that you haven't been taught the right way to deal with that type of situation that a woman gives you. We haven't been taught. But the great thing about me is I've found my own way. And I've come to understanding, okay, how can I have grace and at the same time 
have strength underneath. That's really the way that I view myself is I'm very graceful. I am a man who, who moves in a way, who loves dance, who loves love and that loves happiness and that loves you know sex and, 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 and the feeling in a way like that. But at the same time, underneath the way that I am, I'm really fucking strong and I'm really powerful in many ways. And it's funny because guys look at my infield video and all they see is the grace. But if a guy really looks close, he'll see underneath that there's a lot of power to me. There's a lot of fucking strength that it goes unsaid. I don't have to show it. It just radiates from me. I used to want to show it. And that's what it is now. For you guys, you don't have to now move into the position where you're like, all right, you know what? No fucking girl is going to do this to me. And you have to move to this position where you have to start putting on these behaviors where it looks like to the public eye that you are the fucking man. Because I think guys really want other guys and other people to now know that they're not weak anymore. So I see a lot of guys in the community and even pickup coaches, I see them and they're, the, what, the things that they're doing, I'm looking at them like, bro, that's really not you. You just took on these behaviors to overcompensate for the things underneath. You don't have to act in this way. You don't have to try to be like this. I'm incredibly misunderstood and I love it. Because as guys look at my infield video, they see sometimes a guy who looks feminine and gay. They see a guy sometimes who looks really strong. And I'm incredibly misunderstood because I don't want the eyes to see me for just these behaviors of, I have to be like this to be the strong man. I have to be like this to make sure that the woman knows that I can lead. That a woman knows that she can't say this to me. But a woman knows if she's gonna give me bad behavior, then I'm gonna shut her down for it. I'm gonna fucking just cut it out. I'm gonna fucking use this line, I'm gonna use that. And these ways of being, they're not really the man's way. They are taking on behaviors because he thinks that if he takes on these behaviors, he will be able to get the woman. He will not be viewed as the, by the woman as weak. He will not be viewed by the eyes that are looking at the video as a man who is weak. True strength is what a woman is craving from you. True strength. That is the ability to sit in the tension of your own choices. The ability to sit in the tension of your own wants and desires. Independent of the woman. That brings us to how do I start to get over being bossed around or not being able to stand up to myself when I'm in front of women? Because I definitely have the antidote because I have so many anecdotes in my life of it. The first thing I want you guys to do is to just acknowledge and understand that it's not the woman, it's you. It is not the woman's fault that she's bossing you around. It's not the woman's fault that she's making you feel weak. It's not her fault. It's not. You are inducing that in her. You are attracting that part out of her to make her feel, to make her make you feel like that. And is this something that's you thinking, mm, really? You know, I don't deserve this. No, 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 no. You're attracting that out of women. Because right now, I, can, I can't attract the part of a woman that makes me feel weak. I can't attract the part of a woman that starts to boss me around. But in the past, I could definitely do it. Definitely I could do it. Because I didn't have the, the, the strength that I have now to be able to handle was true for me. In the past, I didn't have the strength. And I didn't even want to handle it because I thought I was going to be an asshole. But now, a girl can call me an asshole. But I know I'm not an asshole. I'm just standing up for what I believe in or I'm being true to what I believe in in the moment. And she may temporarily call me an asshole, but I know that underneath that, she respects me. She has to. That's what you want, really. What you really want from the woman is respect. But the only way you can get the respect is that you have to respect yourself before the woman. You must be fixated on what is it that I respect about myself right now? What is it that I want right now? Respect that over what the woman could ever tell you or say to you or, 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 or ever treat you like. You want to make sure that anytime you're with a woman that she respects you, she respects you and that you respect yourself. But for her to respect you, you must first respect yourself. And how does this tie together with acknowledging that it's not her fault? When you acknowledge that it's not her fault, 
your attention now moves back to you. And as it moves on to you, you then now have to take the responsibility that you must be the one that stands up for himself. And even if people don't respect you for that, they have to respect you. Even if they don't. Even if they feel like, fuck, man, you're an asshole. Even if they feel like, man, the way you're acting right now, you, you, never, was, you never was like this. Start to respect yourself. That's what I have to do. I have to start to respect my own truth. I have to start to respect what's true for me. I have to start to respect, okay, right now, I actually don't want to be talked to like this. Right now, I actually don't want to do the thing that you're telling me to do. That's what you need to respect. You don't need to now start avoiding and start to go into fucking bitterness like I used to. I went through to bitter and strong. But what I want you to do is start to respect the fact that, yes, right now, I am alive. And I have the right to say yes and no at any moment that I want to. Even at the moment where you want me to say yes, I have the power to say no. Even at the moment you are telling me to say no, I have the power to say yes. You have to bring the attention back to yourself. You have to start going, what do I respect about myself independent of the woman? When I'm in front of a woman, what do I feel that I'm constantly disrespected by? What do I feel that? Um, I constantly feel that I'm disrespected by when I say I want to do something, she blows it off. Or I'm constantly feeling disrespect by the fact that when I'm, when I'm around women, they don't, they don't, uh, value my choices. What is it? This is the thing you want to start to ground in yourself. Because it's not just about, okay, I respect this and I respect that. It's no, what is true for you in this moment when a woman is telling you to do something? What is true for you when a woman is telling you, I wanted you to do that, but you didn't, you did this. What is true for you when you go approach a girl and she goes, mm, I just like dancing. And you go, oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, all right, well, what do you like doing? And you go, well, I like doing this. And then you go, oh, yeah, and this, and you know, I like doing this. And you start over investing because you want the girl to like you. But in this moment, what's happening underneath is that the girl's starting to feel that you don't have ground to you. She's starting to feel that you don't respect or even value the interaction, value the things that you're saying. She starts to feel that, okay, as this guy is in front of me, she feels it. She doesn't consciously go through this. She feels it. She feels that she can just tell you anything. Bossing you around. Really. She feels that she can just say anything and you'll just go with it. Women who are very pretty are very used to this. They say anything, the guy folds. They don't give him attention, the guy gets fucking freaked out. He starts to go into neediness. She's used to bossing men around. And if you guys really want to go out there and start to have really attractive women into your life, you're going to have to get used to the fact of many of them when you meet, they will want to, by default, just start bossing you around. By default. Even when you have come to respecting yourself, they'll just do it by default. And this, the, the women that you will find yourself the most attracted to and like, you like them a lot, these are the ones who are really going to press you the most. That part of yourself where you're like, oh my God, okay, if I say this thing, I may sound like an asshole. They're going to press on you. And those are the times when you need to stay strong. Those are the times when you need to go check in with yourself in a moment when a girl tries to do that and say no or say yes or go, you know, the way you're acting right now, I have to say that if you keep acting like this, I don't want to see you anymore. These are the times when you must respect what's true for you. You don't like when a girl fucking talks to you like this. You don't like it. So stay true to that. You don't like in this moment when you're talking to this girl and she just gives you an answer. She just gives you some fucking answer where it's just like, mm, I like doing this. And to me, particularly, I'm talking about really beautiful women because guys are always like, how do I get the hot girl? So I'm like, really beautiful women. When you're talking to them, they may go, um, I don't like doing this. Mom, just walking. They just give you these replies because it's just like, I can just give you whatever I want. And then you go, no, you're not, you, you, you're walking around, but what else are you doing today? And you just don't let them out of that. 
Respect the fact that you value the, your time being there. You value your time. Maybe she, in the moment, is just like, what do you want? And she had that mentality that some beautiful girls have. Value your time. Value the fact that you're there with this girl and you want to get to know her. Respect yourself more than the girl respects you. This will let you know how strong you can be in front of a woman. How much do you respect yourself? Do you respect yourself, yourself more than the girl respects you? This has been the indicator for me through my whole life. Is that at the times where I used to just fold, it's because I didn't respect myself more than a woman. And women want men where they can who, who they can respect, who they can feel like, okay, this guy, he has clear ways about himself. He has boundaries. When I step into his space, I must act a certain way or he won't be around me. And when they step into this space, they'll be different. They will. Once the space is created that this is what's accepted and this is what's not accepted, she has to act a certain way. All right? She will respect you, create the space for her to do it. Within yourself, and she'll step into that, and she'll have to. Then, then that brings me to another way. That is understanding what you have to offer women. Once you know what you have to offer women, then women can feel that they can't just do anything to you. That they can't just fucking walk all over you. They don't want to, man. They don't actually want to walk all over you. But you don't know what you offer them. You're looking for her to give you answers about things. What do you offer women? What intangibly do you offer women that you can, that you can name right now? Intangibly. Because a lot of guys go, great sex. I'm like, all right, bro. That's cool. But what else besides that intangibly? Because to even get to sex, she has to feel that intangibly you're worth it. Guys want the results of getting women, but they don't want to do the internal work. They want to do the little internal work to just get the result, but they don't want to do the real work. What do you have to offer women? Do you even know, honestly? Do you actually know what you have to offer a woman if she steps into your space? What is it? Because those things that you have to offer a woman, that builds your self-respect because you start to respect the fact that, fuck, I'm a man and I fucking have a lot of shit to offer. I respect that. So what do you have to offer? Some things I have to offer. A man that's understanding. A man that can change in the moments where he needs to. A man that's committed to growth. A man that offers truth. A man that can be strong in the moments where it's needed. Blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. De. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. I know exactly what I have to offer women, and I'm open to what else do I have to offer a woman. What you guys need to understand is what you have to offer women, once you can really pinpoint it, you start to build a certain ground underneath you. Because once you know what you have to offer women, and you're open to more that you, more that you have to offer women, that puts you ahead of 99% of guys on earth. Because 99% of guys on earth <coughs> have to have no fucking clue what they offer women. No clue at all. And guys who know what they have, what they have to give to women, who step into their space, makes women feel sexy, makes women feel wanted, makes women feel like they have to come into your space and they have to act a certain way. Because they know that this is a man who is offering me something that most men don't offer me. They don't fucking know or I don't know, it's just something about this dude, he just, he is so assured of himself. Become confident in your looking. What do you have to offer women, man? 
And don't think about the intangible things that you are striving toward. But right now in this moment, what can you give them? A man that's growing is just as sexy as a man who, so to speak, is confident. Because a man that's growing is somebody who is uh, developing within himself confidence. And as he walks along that path of growing, he will eventually develop a certain level of immovability in his core where he's just in front of women and he can just feel comfortable. That's what you call confidence to me. So don't think about what are the things that I need to have so I can get the women. No, no, no. There's things right now that you have that many women out there want right now. Because you keep forgetting that where you are right now, there's women right now who can meet you there. Not every woman out there is amazing. 99% of the girls that I meet are not amazing, to be honest with you. The truth, 99% of them I meet are not amazing women, they're not. Can I bring amazing out of them? Yeah, I can. Because I have the ability to offer the space for her to show me everything. And also explain to me, she has dreams, but she's a little bit scared of showing me. Those things like that. But when I first meet them, no. Does everybody have the ability to become that? Yes. And I can offer the space for women to do that. What do you offer women? And start to ground yourself in those things. That's everything from patience, like me, patience and love and joy and all these things that I offer women care. I offer women care. I'm a very caring man. I offer women strength. Often women, a man who knows what he wants, a man who's willing to say no. I like I offer women all these amazing intangibles. So when I'm around a woman, I'm not scared that I'm gonna lose her. I'm not scared that when I'm in front of her, she's just gonna, you know, make me feel some sort of way. In the past, I used to because I didn't really have ground underneath me. But when I started doing inventory on myself and started going, what do I really have to give to women? A different type of ground start to come underneath me. What do you guys have to offer? And leaving you guys with that, I just want to say that uh, thank you for sitting in on this very intimate talk, the talk that I just did. I'm really, really uh, hungry and energetically I'm a little bit, you know, off a little bit, but it's fine because I'm not consistent in no way. <clears throat> if you guys want my free meet to bed video series, please click the link below and be looking for my product that's coming out in June. It'll be all on so many beautiful topics that I talk about with masculinity and you'll see me actually take women home because guys are like, why you, why you put the videos out? You taking women home. I'm never going to do that. Never for the public because that's not my style, but I will do it for a product though. Until next time, this is Tony Solo saying that